Hi, I'm Ed Sperling. I'm the Editor-in-Chief of System Level Design. I'm here with Jonah Alban from NVIDIA. It's taking longer and longer to do simulations these days. What's changed? The, the fundamental factor is, is that our chips are, are getting more complex, but, but that actually uh, has a multi-dimensional impact on, on simulation time. Um, the, the first impact is simply that a more complex chip takes quite a bit longer to simulate. Um, but the second factor is a more complex chip also needs to be simulated for more cycles to get the results you need. Um, and the third factor is that a more complex chip generally will have to, you'll have to have run generally more tests on that chip in order to get the results you're looking for. So those three factors together result in a very dramatic increase in the amount of simulation uh, work that's required for the chips we build uh, these days. As we move down to 28 nanometers, 22 nanometers, is that making things harder as well? Every generation of, of process technology raises the bar for us in terms of the level of complexity that we're looking at. Moore's law is just relentless, uh, and you know every time we add more transistors in, it, it just grows all those factors that I mentioned earlier in terms of the, the challenge to simulate that new chip we're building. Does it require you to think of more things up front than what you were doing in the past? A lot of these things were always add-ons. Power was an add-on, uh, test was an add-on, and now suddenly everybody's starting to talk like, this has to be done now. Whenever we're developing a new generation, we always try to, to plan up front going into that generation what the new issues are that are going to come up. It, these are, Moore's Law fundamentally is an exponential process, which means that you can get very surprised very quickly if you haven't thought up front about what, what the changes are you're going to see in the next generation. So whenever we're coming to generation, we're not just thinking about how do we build the chip. We're thinking about what are the new tools we're going to need, what are the new methodologies we have to deploy so that we don't fall on our face this time with, with, some, with some new issue coming up. What are some of the biggest changes that you've had to encounter lately? I'd say uh, the, the challenges related to power have probably been one of the biggest challenges for us uh, lately. Uh, the fundamental process technology is not scaling in terms of its power efficiency as it used to, um, and that's really shifted our focus on the design side uh, with a lot more pressure on, on making sure that the design is power efficient and makes up for that gap. Does the GPU head into stack die as well? Is that part of the, the future strategy? Uh, stack die is certainly an interesting technology. Uh, it's, I, it's, I think the question for everybody is when is it going to be commercially viable and, and cost-effective technology to use? Does it change how you have to design, though? Absolutely. When you start thinking about using a stack die, it's going to change a lot of things about how you architect the chip and how they talk to each other. Uh, so it's certainly something you've got to think about early on in order to be prepared for that, for that change. Is that going to elongate the process as well? It just becomes a bigger problem that has to be solved up front? Stack die is going to be yet another complexity against introduced in the design flow, and it's going to, the challenge for us and for everyone else is going to be to try to make sure that with that complexity coming in, that we're able to do other things to keep the keep the overall design cycle uh, under control. So, are you optimistic that all the problems will be solved and can be solved that have to be done? Is it just going to be a matter of oh, we're going to buy new EDA tools, or is it going to be we have to rethink how we do all this stuff? I think you have to be inherently optimistic in order to be in this industry. You know, Moore's Law was sort of something that Gordon Moore made up a long time ago, um, but it turned out to be, to be surprisingly right because people have the belief every time that they can get there. Uh, so I have to believe we're going to get past these, these problems that are coming up. Um, but I also think it's important not to underestimate those problems. It, it's getting really hard to build chips these days. Jonah Alban, thank you very much. Thank you.